محمد told by Omar and Omar told the wife of Muhammad if you don't behave Allah will divorce you and replace you hello hello yes my friend Abdul Rahim how are you Abdul Rahman I'm fine uh, and you I'm all right what do you want to say to us Abdul Rahman um, well uh, I've been uh, following uh, uh, you for quite a while so yeah <laughs> i thought uh, let's uh, let's call you once uh, did you um, decide, did you decide to leave islam or not yet my friend uh not yet actually okay do you what do you think about this uh, hadith in the front of us that allah he agreed with omar how god he agreed with omar <laughs> Uh, sorry, uh, which one? Oh, this, the, the hadith um, we are showing the screen. I don't know if you can see the screen. Omar, he said that Allah uh, agreed with me. Allah agreed yes. with me in many things. And one of them, as an example, he said that Allah, he is the one uh, 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 you know, took from me to make the Kaaba a place of worship. I said, oh, uh, oh, messenger of Allah, read the hadith with me. I said, oh, Allah, messenger, why do not take the maqam of Ibrahim, a place of a prayer? Then the following verse revealed, and take your people to maqam of Ibrahim as a place of prayer, exactly as Omar, he said. Why Omar, he says something right away, Omar, uh, Omar word became Quran. Who is Omar? He's a prophet? <laughs> uh... Actually, I'm a Shia. Oh, you are a Shia. Uh, Muslim. Well, the Shia, no problem. <laughs> yes. We can go to the Shia. The Shia, they have a lot of funny stories too. Do you want me to share some stories right. about the Shia with you? What do you think about the Shia belief? Well, I'm I'm actually uh, confused uh, lately uh, uh, about it. Uh, <laughs> I am uh, uh, born in uh, Europe, and uh, especially uh, lately, I've uh, I've had many. Uh, uh, doubts about the belief, but the problem is that the Shia, um, I can't uh, find uh, much in uh, English. Uh, uh, I don't speak uh, hmm. good Arabic, so yeah, but um, you know, but 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 at the end of the day, you, you have to take the Quran at least, right? And the Quran is yes. still is a stupid book, it doesn't matter if you are a Shia or a Sunni. So the Quran itself is being stupid, and the, the Shia books is the same as garbage. I mean, when when your biggest scholar he say that if you wear a black shoe, your penis will not work. I mean, obviously this guy is a scam, right? What? If you wear a black shoe, uh, your penis you you will lose vision. I don't know how good is your vision. Uh, how good your vision? Uh, Do you wear glasses? Yes. Oh, see, I think you are wearing black shoes then. Are you wearing black shoes, my friend? Uh, well, I have uh, many shoes, actually. Many. Well, you are a rich guy, not like me. For me, I wear only black shoes. So, and this is what happened to me exactly, as in the hadith. It says, "Babu Karahati Lipsunnal," hadith number five nine three one. He said, "An Abi Abdullah alayhi salam annahu nadra ila baadi ashabihi wa alayhi naalun sauda." Abi Abdullah, may Allah bless him, he said that he look at some of his companion and they are wearing a black shoe so he said to them what's up with you with the black shoe don't you know that is going to damage your vision which means your eyes and is going to make your penis useless <coughs> hmm? and then he advised them actually to wear yellow shoes because if you wear yellow shoes your penis would be powerful So what do you think? Okay. Uh, this is in uh, uh, Al Kafi or this is Al Kafi. Let me give you a reference, my friend. This is Al Kafi, yeah. uh, variant number six, page number four six uh, four six five. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and this is in the uh, can be exist in more actually not only one reference like uh, Nawab Nawab Al Amal, uh, page number forty three, uh, uh, Al Khisal ninety nine fifty. Okay. All right. 
and you know those yeah. those books are full of garbage i mean it's all over it's not like one one time deal it's madness it's all over you know mm. as an example but, uh... you know, if if the watermelon is uh, sweet it is a shia if the watermelon is <laughs> sour it is sunni all right yeah and if you wear white shoes let, let us talk about shoes today <laughs> If you wear white shoes, what will happen? Do you know? No, I don't know. Okay. Uh, if you wear white shoes, you will earn a lot of money. And that explains why I'm poor. I never wear white shoes. I'm going to go right now to the mall and buy a white shoe. Should I buy one for you in my way? No. Um... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, weird. I have to admit, actually, uh, many things. But um, yeah. Um, do you know uh, there's a, a guy? Um, his name is uh, Al uh, Al Ghazi. Al -Ghazi. Uh, do you know him? Al Ghazi. Yes. Yeah. What about him? He speaks Arabic. Um. He's, uh, um, have, uh, have you uh, actually listened to him? Uh, or, oh, you mean uh, this is guy in YouTube? I, I I know somebody from history. His name is Ghazi. I, this is a different person. Okay. All right. I know uh, this no, uh, no. new guy. Uh, no, he has, I, I, uh, I never heard of him. No. Okay. No. Oh, yeah. I've never heard of him. So uh, the, the thing what uh, confused me is that uh, he claims that uh, Shia, even they have uh, go uh, astray uh, uh, the last uh, centuries, uh, maybe uh, even the last thousand years. So uh, he claims that uh, uh, the the Shia scholars uh, nowadays uh, they uh, they don't really uh, follow the uh, Ahl al Bayt uh, the teachings of them, and uh, that they are actually. Uh, influenced by the Sunnis, and uh, because the Sunnis were uh, always yeah. But in, what uh, what is power. his source? What his source? Like what book he advised you to read? Then all the Shia books source. Al Kafi. He, uh, Al Kafi. We are laughing now, aren't you? Aren't you? Didn't you laugh a second ago? This is Al Kafi. Al Kafi is the true okay. resource, right? Okay. Al Kafi yeah. is full of stupid stories. Mm. So if if the Shia were influenced by the Sunni, and the, the following Al Kafi is the right thing. Well, how in the world, like as an example, in in you know, uh, 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 one of the hadith says uh, uh, that Amir al Munin he said that the the servant of Allah they have womb inside them like women, and then they ask him, so why they don't get a bread net? He said because it's upside down, mankusa, and they have in their anus a a, 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 a pimple. The, the same as the pimple of the camel. So if they got horny, get horny with them. If they got if if if, if this uh, if this pimple uh, be quiet, they will get quiet, which means they will not be horny. So this guy is saying to you, uh, oh, you are deceived because you follow the Sunni. They are not following the Sunni. They are following the Shia. This is the this is the all those are the hadith of of uh, of your leaders. The the family of Muhammad, not only leaders, the family of Muhammad. Yeah, true. The the twelve uh, imams yeah. from the imams. Yeah, Abi, yes. Abi Abdullah is one of them. He says, uh, uh, if uh, if the uh, if the human being, if your child, uh, like when he is born, if his penis is small, uh, then uh, he will not be, uh, you know. Uh, uh, like he will be he will not be let us say uh, harmful if his penis is small but if his penis is big you have to be watch uh, i mean what 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 what, what penis and what, uh, what you know this, this it's garbage so this guy is asking you to go back to the origin and this is the origin yes but uh, uh, as far as i know uh... Uh, Shia uh, don't have uh, such uh, hadith like uh, breastfeeding or um, my friend. Yeah. 
My friend, the, breast, the breastfeeding is not a hadith for the Shia or the Sunni. This was a verse in the Quran. Uh, I mean, that's, uh, yeah. This is, was a verse, you know, uh, for in the Quran was not a Shia or Sunni. You know, Quran is not Shia, neither Sunni, right? True. So as long as it was a verse in the Quran, then how they can say we don't have that? Uh, well, uh, because the hadith that uh, that uh, tells us uh, <laughs> about this uh, Sahih al Bukhari, right? Uh, mm. No, that, okay, we can find you that, something that, equal. We can find you something equal from different book. As an example, uh, uh, if you go in the book, it's called Wasa'il Shia, hadith number 259441. It says, mm, I don't know that book. Uh, what is that? Wasa'il Shia. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get you. Uh, hold on, let me search for it. And um, uh, get you the reference. Put it in the screen. Give me a second. <laughs> because okay. I know uh, Al Kafi, but yeah, um, yeah, the same. This, this is a very authentic book too. Uh, here it says, uh, "Oh, I found this website, but but anyway." Uh, the guy he is speaking that when he was debating uh, with the Sunni, uh, they spoke about uh, breastfeeding for adult. Uh, let me see mm -hmm. if I can find you. I want something else. Hold on. I want the reference right away, not here. This is just a form. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, we don't like uh, uh, Aisha, and uh, yeah, it's actually uh, really different uh, about the uh, Sahaba, the view in uh, Shia Islam, right? Yeah, well, the, the, the Shia, the Shia, they hate Aisha, yes, and they think even they claim that she killed Muhammad. This is the reference here, which was a Shia. It says. إذا رضع الرجل من لبن امرأة حرم عليه كل شيء من ولدها. If a man he did suckle a woman, it's forbidden for him everything from her children. Do you see it? So you have رضاع الكبير. You have the same, you know, breastfeeding for adult. Okay, uh, can you uh, repeat it once, please? Uh, the book of Wasa'il uh, Shia, Hadith yes. number two five nine four one. If a man he suckled from a woman, a woman, a man and a woman, it's forbidden for him anything have to do with her children, which means he cannot sleep with her children. Mm -hmm. hmm. So you have the breastfeeding. This is exactly actually the, the, the Sunni, they are more open for that because if you have, uh, see, he can sleep with her still, but supposed he cannot sleep with her kids, which is funny. So the Sunni. They have almost the same thing, but the difference is you can sleep with her and you can sleep with her children. So what's the point of this breastfeeding for adult? No? Uh, hmm. Okay, but yeah. Same time, same time, the Quran forbid Muslims to do uh, uh, um, what they call it, adoption, correct? Okay, we forbid them to do adoption, but we allow you to do adoption by breastfeeding, <clears throat> because the Quran confirm if you if you do breastfeeding not only for adult, uh, like the adult you can have sex with the adult even if you do breastfeeding, but if you have if you do breastfeeding for a child, then that child became like your son. So how that can happen? How we forbid adoption and then we say that if a person if a, a baby. He did the breastfeeding for a woman. He became like her son. What is the connection? I don't know. My yeah. friend, I don't know. I, I, for me, I, I am here. I would be happy to hear from you that you decide to leave Islam. This is a stupid religion. Shia or Sunni, it doesn't matter. I can show you tons of reference. All of them, they say the same garbage. I cannot find something, you know, lawful or something logical in, 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 in this cult. So if you think the Sunni are, you know, are stupid, well, you better think twice because the Shia, they are not better. No? Okay, well, 
um, uh, I want to ask you some uh, uh, questions uh, uh, since you speak uh, Arabic uh, well and you have uh, studied also uh, Shia uh, sources, uh, I guess. So mm -hmm. uh, what I've actually uh, heard uh, all my life is that uh, yeah, um, uh, I, I don't know uh, how to call them in uh, English. They say uh, Nawasid. Um, Nawasid, yeah. Like, yeah, uh, they have actually made uh, the... Uh, they have uh, actually caused uh, Islam uh, to get a, um, an ugly image and uh, distorted uh, everything. Uh, uh, even uh, when I uh, when I talk with uh, Shia about this, uh, scholars uh, they say yes, uh, that's uh, true. Uh, the first uh, sixty years of the. Uh, uh, spread of uh, Islam and even after that was uh, very violent but uh, that was against the Ahl al-Bayt uh, uh, what the uh, what the Prophet actually wanted and uh, and the, uh, the, the friend, 12 did, did, Ali, did, did Ali hold on did Ali according to Islam did kill a lot of people yes or no According to Shia, he killed, he slaughtered a lot of people. Even he burned, he burned people alive. So when they say to you, "This is the enemy of Islam, and this is not right, and this is not what Islam," Ali himself was a bigger criminal. Muhammad himself was a bigger criminal. What are they talking about? Sunni or Shia it doesn't matter. They are lying to you, my friend. Mm, but uh, uh, what do they say uh, about uh, Ali then? Uh... Um, yes, uh, what did he do? Like, my friend, my friend Ali, Ali simply <clears throat> is uh, let us say he was because he, he married the daughters of Muhammad, which is not his daughter, those are the daughters of Khadija. But because he supposedly is close to Muhammad and he is his cousin, correct? Wait, wait, uh, he married uh, Fatima, uh, that's the daughter of Muhammad, uh, yes, but this is not his daughter, Muhammad didn't have daughter. Never have daughters. This is a lie. Muhammad, he cannot have kids. This is why uh, uh, there was a guy making fun of him that he cannot have kids. You see, the, the Muslim, when they say that Muhammad, he have a children. In the Shania, you mean right, that? Right, right. When they right, say right, in right, uh, right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the man, he was making fun of him because he cannot have children. And uh, based on that, Allah, he made a verse which is very funny, which does not make sense, and God cannot say, should not say such a thing. If you read together, in the name of Allah, the beneficent, the, the merciful, uh, this is not in the verse, Muslim added, which means the whole verse is three, the whole chapter is three verses, which is one of the most funny. Surely you have given the kawsar. What is the kawsar? The kawsar is a river which is very pure white. Okay, what does have to do? Why I'm saying to Muhammad, I give you the kawsar if it's a river? What does have to do with a guy accusing Muhammad that his penis is not working? Therefore, pray to your Lord. Okay, what does that mean? And sacrifice. And then he says, Surely your enemy is the one who shall have without be a uh, uh, But the, the guy, he have many kids. But the fact, the fact, it did not say even he will not have without children. It says he is the after, he is the one who don't have a penis. The Muslim, they say, that up there here is about not having kids. Okay, why Allah don't make Muhammad have kids to prove this guy wrong? Instead of making a statement, he is the one who will have no kids. But later we find that Muhammad have no kids. You know what I mean? But, okay, if, but if you are, uh, if you are I, calling uh, me, yeah. my friend, my friend, if you are calling me and making fun of me because I don't have kids, and I am prophet of God, and God decide to defend me. Who is the one defending Muhammad here? Allah supports it, right? Mm -hmm, yes. Okay, what is the benefit of saying he is the one who will be cut off? What about making Muhammad having children? So to prove to them that he will go, God can give him children. You know what I mean? Make it happen. Mm. What the point but, is, it's like two women, they are fighting. One of them saying, oh, your husband, he cannot have sex. This is why you cannot get a bread net. 
the other one she says it is your husband he cannot have sex and you will not have babies this is God talking like this if God is talking he should say okay let me show you here we go Muhammad your wife she will he have 13 wives he could not make one of them bread net he cannot even the Muslim they say that his uh, Mary the cop she deliver him a, a child his name is Ibrahim which is a big fat lie even Aisha, she said he don't even look like you so uh, Muhammad obviously he is a potent man he cannot have sex he, you know even the hadith says that the, the prophet he used to imagine himself having sex when Aisha uh, she tried to play with him uh, Bukhari, right? yeah no problem uh, but here we go the Quran confirmed that the Quran confirmed that Muhammad have a problem and why Allah is promising me a river in a topic which is about a penis why because this al kawsar is a river must be a river of a sperm this is why it's very white like milk so muhammad here is saying that allah he promised me that my penis will work in heaven not here all right but if god is talking he should make muhammad have babies here we go abraham his wife she was old and there's no way she can get a bread net and she give up God, he made Abraham wife get a bread net. Why Allah cannot make Muhammad do do the same to Muhammad? If people are making fun of him and now he is he's not even deaf, he is he heard and he decided to defend him. So what the point of saying surely he is the one who will have no children? It's a stupid conversation. Yeah. Actually, um uh, about that uh, surah um uh, what I uh, know, uh, I'm, I don't know uh, if it is true, but uh, they say that uh, the meaning of Al Kawthar is uh, the daughter of uh, Muhammad uh, Fatima. Uh, uh, this is Shia interpretation. Right. Yeah, Shia, yeah, Shia. They come. What I have heard, but uh, <laughs> uh, I haven't uh, verified it. Or yeah, yeah. You see, and this is one of the stupid things in the in the in Islam. Everyone, here we go. One he think it's a river and one he think it's a daughter and there's a huge difference same time Surely we have given you a kothar. Okay, so the guy is saying to him. You will not you will not have a children's and in, in uh, uh, If if the Shia confirm that we gave you a kothar, that's mean the guy who accusing him is not making an accurate statement Because he have a kothar and this is a daughter, right? But this is not an answer really a kothar never been a name of daughter of Muhammad he can say we give you Fatima correct yeah that's true uh, um, actually uh, there are many uh, verses in the Quran uh, uh, this one means uh, Ali uh, uh, the other and uh, Hassan uh, Hussein and yeah, they fabricate uh, things I always, they fabricate I always uh, think uh, why could uh, why could uh, uh, God not uh, mention it uh, explicitly, like uh, Ali or uh, right. Hassan Hussein, if uh, if they are uh, the the center of my, yeah, my, my uh, friend Shia. They, are Shia, the they decide Shia. They are the same as the Muslim. Both of them they worship Muhammad and his family. But everyone he have his own way. Uh, you know, uh, the Shia they focus in the whole family. The Sunni they focus in Muhammad, but it's the same madness. Both they believe that Muhammad is above mankind To the point that Allah he wrote the name of Muhammad the Shia they say they wrote even the name of Ali Correct. That's true, so yes. so yes. Uh, 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 The Sunni they say if not you Muhammad Allah never created all mankind So the whole creation of the world is created because of Muhammad the Shia they have the same If not Ali and Fatima and Muhammad and Hassan and Hussein Allah created not nothing in this world Right Right. Yes. You know, you know but, the story of of an angel. His name is Fotros. No. Okay. I'm not saying it to make fun of you because you're a Shia. Don't be in, don't be offended. Okay. Oh, the, I, actually, uh, uh, before you uh, continue, I uh, I don't know uh, what I am. Uh, Why you don't uh, say I am out of Islam, man? Just say it to me. Come on, be a man. You are a man. You are smarter than this. Just say I am out of this cult. To be honest, uh, uh, I want to be hundred percent 
uh, sure you know uh, like my friend what is more than 100% that all the fabrication you see in the front of you what kind what kind of 100% that god do not remember which one he created first the trees or the stars what kind of god he says women they have a sperm coming from their ribs and all of us we knew women they have no sperm i mean what more what, what more do you want I know, yeah, these are all uh, truth, but okay, I uh, I promise you that I will uh, continue uh, uh, researching these things, and then in the future uh, I will uh, call you all right. uh, again, and then uh, I will make a decision. But uh, I have the, uh, I have some questions to, uh, for you. Uh, all right. Uh, there's a guy, uh, his name is uh, Hamid uh, Abdus Samad. You oh, know him? Yeah, I saw once a video of him. Right. He's from Germany. Yeah. In Germany. I watched uh, some, uh, some, uh, uh, some of his uh, <laughs> uh, videos. They were uh, subtitled with uh, uh, English. So mm. uh, uh, he was uh, telling about a story. Of uh, Zainab al Kubra, the, mm. uh, the oldest uh, daughter of uh, Muhammad, mm. uh, supposedly. Mm. Uh, he said that uh, Muslims are actually, uh, they, they hide this uh, story. Um, so, what he says is uh, that uh, she actually didn't uh, believe in the prophecy of uh, Muhammad uh, in his uh, prophethood. Uh, she didn't become a Muslim, and uh, that her uh, husband uh, didn't want to convert to Islam. And uh, it's a long story, uh, he told, but I couldn't uh, find it uh, like uh, the, the way he, uh, he told it. So I just uh, wanted to ask you, uh, is it uh, true that uh, that this uh, Zainab, uh, they, uh, that she. Well, you know the the, the resource. Uh, didn't he's, he's not the lying because if you, I didn't, I did not watch his video, but if you go and check the the reference, you will see. Yes, she did not. You know, obviously she did not. This is why they don't mention her. Why? Why we don't see? Why we don't see people talking about her much? Why her name disappear? What happened to her? You know. That's. Uh, uh, that's actually uh, what uh, what uh, Hamid was uh, saying. But uh, do, uh, do we know the reference uh, for this uh, for this uh, story that uh, that she didn't accept the prophethood of Muhammad? Yeah, like there is there is many there is there is many reference actually. There is many reference about that. Uh, but uh, let me see if I can find you something about it. Uh, now, do you want the reference from the Shia books or the Sunni books? <laughs> well, actually, yeah, both. You know, I uh, uh, the more you have, the the yeah. better. Even uh, external uh, sources. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I, um, I have to. Uh, to do a full uh, investigation, like not uh, only listen to this uh, Shia guy or that uh, Sunni guy, like everything, even uh, outside, out, uh, you know? So, uh, yeah, I mean, if you ask both, then uh, that is better. Well, you know, obviously, isn't it Abu al he was fighting Muhammad? And she was staying with her husband? So if she don't believe, if she believe he is a prophet, why she stay with the man who is fighting her, you know, Muhammad? You know what I mean? Yes. So obviously, like, you know, if you are fighting, or like, I am a Christian, and I have a wife, she is uh, a Muslim. And now we are the crusade, and you are the Muslims, and we are saying Muhammad is false, and you're my wife, she stay with me and support me. <laughs> obviously, she don't believe in Muhammad. Yes, uh, so you can. That's, uh, yeah. That's so, you can right? <laughs> yeah, so you can. Yeah, so you can go and read any reference about about she being married to this man, who is fighting Muhammad, and that will be confirming to us that she is not a believer. 
Yes, uh, that was actually uh, uh, what I uh, could find on uh, Wikipedia, but uh, explicitly <laughs> mentioning him, uh, I mean her, uh, not accepting the the prophethood of uh, Muhammad, uh, I I didn't see that. But okay, um, yeah, uh, that's actually um, a good uh, statement if she... Uh, supported her husband and if she stayed with him and he didn't want to uh, and he uh, didn't want to become a Muslim that actually yeah why a woman uh, why a agree. woman she will stay why a woman she will stay with a man who is fighting a prophet of God forget about she is being a daughter or being she being a cousin or be anything if I am a Christian and I believe in Jesus and you you know and uh, I have a woman let us say or let's say a Christian woman she married a man he want to kill all the Christians why she want to stay with him unless she is converted to his cult his religion correct especially she's afraid yeah. to leave she's afraid to leave you know she can go nobody can she can escape she can take a donkey a horse and she can run so why she is staying with the man who hate her father or he hate Muhammad very much that doesn't make sense so any any reference you find about her staying with her husband you will find that this story confirm what uh, this guy in in the show he was saying to you no okay uh, this is uh, found in uh, sirat uh, rasulullah or uh, most of most of the reference coming from the sirahs you know but there is many reference not only in the sirah there's many what is that uh, sunni or uh, shi uh, shia the, the, the sira by the, the way sira, the, the, sira, the sira it was not meant to be sunni or shia because both of them they quote from the sira the sunni and the shia they quote from the sira okay but uh, do you know uh, there's a book uh, called uh, kitab uh, sulaim ibn uh, qais mm, what about it uh, have you have you heard about it sulaim ibn, ibn what uh, sulaim ibn qais Sulaim, the name of the book is what? Uh, Kitab uh, Sulaim ibn Qais. Oh, this is the name of the book. That's the name of the book. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I know, I know the book. This is uh, the, the Al Hilari. I think you are not quoting the whole name. Sulaim ibn Qais Al Hilari. Correct. Uh, wait. Um, let's uh, let's search it. Uh, Sulaim ibn. <coughs> you know, uh, I don't. No, uh, yes, yeah, the one, the one I know, the one, the one I know is Salim ibn Qais al Hilari, not Salim ibn Qais. Okay, yeah, yeah, Salim ibn Qais al Hilali al Amri. Yeah, well, you know, they, they keep they can they can keep giving you names, uh, to the end. Mm. Yeah, what about him? Um, have you read his book? Not his... all of it because, uh, you see, uh, uh, for me, I'm not sure if I did read the whole book before a long time ago. I'm not sure reading. I cannot read it. But uh, uh, he he spoke about the the camel war, about the camel the the war of Safin. Uh, you know, uh, like w what happened during his time with Imam Al Hassan, right? As I remember. I don't know. Uh, actually, I'm just uh, asking you. But uh, yeah, this is what I remember uh, about about is... about him. What about uh, what I remember about him, that he is, uh, you know, like uh, in, in 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 that book, he, there's a collection of information about the war of uh, uh, the Harb, uh, Harb al Jamar between Aisha and uh, Ali. Is that correct? Uh, I know this. Uh, he went. He uh, went all the way. He went all the way war. to Al Basra. Correct. He went to Al Basra. Mm -hmm. He went to Infam I don't know this uh, to Al Basra. But, uh, yeah. To go to join the war, which is the 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 war is called the Camel. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. But I don't really remember much about his book because I don't think his book is too much important. What about it? Uh, I don't know. Uh, um, uh, I uh, I uh, I heard them uh, saying in. Uh, in Shia Islam, that uh, this book is uh, is the first one uh, important. The, yeah, it's, it's the first uh, oldest. They say so. I thought, yeah, uh, maybe, 
uh, you know uh, about it like i know but uh, I, did, I did read long time ago and this is one of one of the first books ever written from the shia perspective this is the first uh, book this is the first book as i as i remember was written by the shia about shiaism hmm. do you know uh, what the all this uh, manuscript is uh, uh, surviving of uh, this time uh, because uh, how do you know uh, yeah. when this book is written actually well uh, i i don't you know you see for us what we have is what they say and they say and they claim many reference that he is one of the first people who wrote about the shia you know the, his book is called Salim ibn Qais al-Hilal al-Amiri. You know, I can give you actually, I can find you the reference. I can give you a link. Do you do you speak Arabic? Do you read Arabic? Yes, I read Arabic. But, uh... oh, okay, because I can I'm search for it. I can if I want to search for it, I can find it. You know, uh, uh, and uh, you know. There is many things that the, the Shia they try they try to avoid actually in his book I think because it is there is many different between what he says and what they say in these days the same as they hide about Zainab mm. you know however yeah. Shia books is a is a collection of contradictions and that's why you see the Shia today they are calling each other names like I know I'm sure you as long as you speak English. I'm sure you watch uh, Yasser Al Habib, right? You know Yasser, have, uh, Yasser Al Habib. Uh, about him, uh, I have. Uh, you can search his I name. Have... You can search his name, and you will see he's teaching you about the corruption of the Quran, as an example. Search uh, corruption, search. right? Yes, uh, I know. Uh, it's actually uh, mentioned in uh, Al Kafi, uh, as I've heard. Right. But uh, the thing that uh, astonishes me, and uh, uh, actually that. Made me uh, furious is is is, is that uh, uh, all that uh, all the time uh, when I was a kid uh, uh, until um, maybe five years ago or nay uh, no uh, actually less uh, I always uh, I was told that the Quran is uh, perfectly uh, preserved for no. the last. Uh, 14 years, but Shia is the last one to believe the Quran lie, preserved. Yeah. The Quran, no, the Shia don't believe that. The Quran, they believe that uh, Al, Al Mahdi, he have with him the Quran of Fatima. He took it with him, yes. and he will bring it when he come back. This is the only book the Shia agree upon. The books which is exist today, the Shia don't even accept for a second. All of them they agree that the Quran is correct. But the Shia, they play taqiyya. So if you speak to a Shia in TV and you are doing like let's say debate between a Shia and Sunni Mostly the Shia he will deny that he believed that the Quran is corrupt You know they practice taqiyya, but the Shia in indoor usually they practice that and they say that and there's tons of videos made by Shia themselves in the mosque where the Shia Imam teaching that the Quran today is not the Quran which is given to Muhammad you know? Yeah, so now but, you, but nah. so now you are a Shia, but you have no book. I feel sorry for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, uh, yeah, you know, uh, I am, I am uh, born in a, yeah, you know, in a Shia family. So uh, you I don't. <laughs> It's not your fault. I understand. Uh, it's, not, it's, not. it's not. You know, it's it's actually really difficult. I mean. Uh, how can I know what really happened uh, uh, 1,400 years ago or 2,000 years ago? I, I don't know. Uh, My friend, uh, there the, were the, Shia, no, uh, video the, Shia, the Shia, they yeah. beat everybody in the world when it's come to fictions. Everybody, nobody can beat the Shia with the fictions. I, I will give you an example. There is an angel, his name is Futros. And I will, I will, I will say the story for you in the Shia way. في ملاك اسمه فطرس هذا فطرس كان ملاك موجب عزيز عند الله وقد أغضب الله فوضعه في الجزيرة وقال له الله هل أعزبك أو أقاضيك يوم القيامة فقال فطرس أو ربي عزبني اليوم وليس يوم القيامة 
فقام الله وكسر جناحيه وأرسله إلى جزيرة بعيدة وفي يوم من الأيام سمع فطروس ضجيجا في السماء فصاح وقال ما هذا هل أنت جبريل؟ فرد عليه جبريل وقال نعم فقال فطروس ماذا حصل هل قامت القيامة؟ فقال جبريل لا لم تكن القيامة ولكن اليوم ولد مولود عزيز على الله اسمه الحسن فقال فطروس أرجوك أرجوك تكلم إلى الله لكي يصلح جناحي ويسمح لي بأن أذهب إلى رسول الله وأهني Translation the story is long so guys there is a there is an angel his name is Futros and Futros he disobeyed Allah so Allah he broke he told him which one you prefer to do to you punish you now or punish you later in the judgment day the angel Futros he said now so Allah he broke his wings and he sent him to an island in the Caribbean for sure the Caribbean this is my addition <laughs> so he put him in a far in a far away island and one day, Futros, he heard noise in the sky. So he said, he looked at the sky and he like he saw the angels from far away. And he said, what happened? Why there is noise? Did the judgment day did come? Jibreel answer says, no, it's not the judgment day. Today, the child, a born a child of, the, uh, of, uh, of, uh, of Muhammad. So we are going to say like a graduation for you. So the angel he said to the to uh, to the angel, please can you speak to Allah? Please, please, I want to go and do the same. I want to go and do the same. And then Allah he fixed the, the 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 wings of the angel, and the angel he went with the rest of the angels and he entered upon uh, the child, and he asked before he entered, he asked the prophet. He says, please, 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 prophet, can you please let me get in and wave my wings in the top of him like a fan? And the prophet said, okay, sure, sure, go. <laughs> I mean the Shia they have stories nobody can imagine it's beyond stupidity more than uh, Sunni you think? more than Sunni oh yeah Sunni Sunni are not even close Sunni is like 1% compared to the Shia madness guys what do you want what do you want from the screen I have a I have a uh, I have the ocean for you in the screen. I put it there in purpose because there's nothing to show you. It's not in English to show you. There's a video. Uh, uh, this is a story. I don't have it in English. I can show it to you in video, but video is speak Arabic, you know, which will not make any difference for you. So there is no screen. I put for you the ocean. They are asking me to show the screen. They think the story of Futros is in the screen. Futros is not here now. He's in a vacation. <laughs> anyway, my friend. Well, so, as far as I know, is uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, the, the, what what about? Come on, make a decision and say, I am out of Islam, man. Come on, you are smarter than this. I can tell you are already out of it. Why you are shy to say it? Uh, I know. Uh, I want to. Uh, I want to be uh, hundred uh, percent sure. Oh, but okay. uh, I'm. Uh, you promise I me to call me next weird. time I go on air. You promise me to call me next time. No problem. If you are available, but, uh, okay. But then, uh, okay, if uh, if uh, Islam is uh, not the true religion, like uh, not uh, Shia nor the Sunni, then um, what makes uh, Christianity? I mean, the, the well, uh, the, you see, for uh, me, real... for me, I have a logic. My logic is, before I present the Messiah to someone, he have to reject the devil first. Otherwise, I'm wasting my time. So if you believe in something, I prefer to explain what you believe first to show you that you are believing in wrong. It's like, you know, there's a computer and the computer have a virus and you want to install a new software. Installing a new software will not really make a computer healthy. Still, the virus is there. So we have to format the computer. So as long as still you are thinking not sure of Islam to be 100%, then I will save my time for you until you say to me Islam is not the right thing and we can talk about Christianity me and you what do you think and you don't have to believe anyway I mean you know you are a man you're adult God gave you a gift which is called the brain 
take what you think is right you know what I mean? Okay, but uh, I mean, uh, um, why is there uh, uh, only one uh, 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 truth? Like uh, Muslims claim uh, Islam is uh, only true. Uh, Shia claim that uh, belief in uh, Muhammad and the uh, imams is is a must, uh, and you know, like uh, everyone, but. Uh, if you look at uh, uh, Hinduism, for example, hmm. uh, they say no. Um, there are many ways to uh, heaven, and uh, you see, I the, actually okay. look at my, my friend, my friend, my friend. The Hindu Hinduism is mostly is like a philosophy; it's not really a religion as much as a philosophy and yoga, etc. Uh, 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 Christianity is different. Same time, anyone can say I am the only one who who have the right belief. Right, that's that's normal. I mean, uh, because uh, because they cannot be all uh, true. One of them have to be right, or maybe all of them are wrong. You know what I mean? So, yes. uh, 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 we have to be open for the option of being wrong or being right. So we will not say, okay, only this guy. For me, I say Christianity is a true one, and that's why I believe in it. However, I understand if people say we don't believe in it, it must be false. No problem. But 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 the issue is. What is the purpose of this God you are worshiping? The God of Islam is weird, is, is, is mad. Like uh, the Quran says, وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْإِنسَ وَالْجِنَّ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ I never created man and genie except to worship me. So the purpose of a creation is stupid because God do not need people to worship him for his God anyway. That's mean his self-esteem person, he an echo, you know? He liked to be worshipped. Muhammad said, if you don't commit sin, I assure you that Allah will wipe you out, will destroy you, and create people and bring people who commit sin and ask him for forgiveness. So this God in Islam, he wanted you to commit sin and beg him for forgiveness. This is the point. He want to feel better. He want to feel. He want to be worshipped. It's like there's a there's a there's a guy who is mentally ill. He bring you home and say you have to bow down to me every day. Otherwise, I'm going to destroy you. So this is the point of Islam. Christianity is the opposite. Christianity believe that God. Is our father in the mean of what he love us the same as his children? We worship him, yes. We pray for him, yes. But in return, he love us, and he uh, he he's he's not he did not create us so we can be uh, slaves. He created us to we can share his kingdom and his love with him. So the point of of belief is different, and the reason of belief is different. Islam is about slavery. You live as a slave, you die as a slave, you go to heaven, you are a slave still. Christianity is different belief. Same time, you know, we have tons of reasons to believe Jesus must be God, for he was able to do things nobody can do. And until now, there is miracles happen in the name of Jesus, and nobody can explain. So I Which would, one, now, for example? Which one? The miracles, uh, miracles yes. me myself, yes. I witnessed a miracle actually in, 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 in a family member. You know, uh, I don't, you know, I don't like to talk about those things because this is a personal experience. I'm not here trying to make you believe in a miracle happened to me because I'm lying. Maybe I'm lying, maybe I'm fabricating things. But what I will say to you that when you believe in Jesus, you will live miracles and you will witness miracles yourself. It's not a fiction, it is a true. So there is a huge difference between Christianity as a fiction and Christianity as reality. Today, there is miracle. You can go right now and see, and you will find a lot of people they, they face miracles. Uh, for me, I don't like to to speak about them because uh, uh, people they might say, "Look, Christian prince is fabricating a story. This cannot be true because it's a miracle. It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe. That's why we call it miracle. Anything we cannot understand how it happened, people they call it a miracle. So. Even the Quran, which we a book we refuse, believe that Jesus can resurrect people from death. People can make can heal the blind, can make the blind see, can heal the leper, can 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 control the nature, can tell you what you hide in your houses. So, and even it says that even the apostles of Jesus, which send the three messengers, which is sent by Jesus, they were able to accomplish miracles in His name, and this is all in Islamic books. So. We have a living God proving himself to us and he witnessed for himself. We do not need witnesses. And this is what you will notice yourself when you became a Christian. I cannot explain to you how you will witness that because you will witness it yourself. For it's very hard to explain 
what I am witnessing because this is something very personal for me I, yes. I will give you many examples you know I don't like to talk about myself but every day in my life is a miracle always when something wrong happened the the, the Lord the Lord my God he opened doors for me I have no money I am out of money suddenly somebody want to give me money I don't know why I don't even know the guy I need someone to translate my book a guy he made fun of me an atheist says why your God don't send me somebody to translate the book I want I open my email I found somebody saying I want you to translate the book for you it's a miracle I can I can explain you know the Lord he provide me he give me so if you want to say this is what was a maybe an accident or a consequence it's a you know then you have to explain I mean uh, how 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 do, how it work always so I have I have an amazing experience with the Lord and I believe everything I have is a gift from him to me the food I eat the health I have the knowledge I do the teaching I teach and bringing people to Christ is a gift from him and I am witnessing for his miracle and this is why I'm defeating Islam every day I believe even this is a miracle of the Lord because mm -hmm. sometimes even myself I don't even I cannot even imagine how fast my thinking is to refute a Muslim and I believe that the Lord is guiding me sometimes me myself I get scared of how fast the answer is coming like you are even not finishing the word I get the answer yes I, you know what uh, I, I don't know it's uh, it, it's actually yeah uh, I find it uh, difficult to uh, explain but uh, it feels really strange to think uh, uh, about that uh, this is all uh, fake and uh, then you feel so empty from inside uh, uh, I don't know uh, how to describe it and then uh, when you then want to leave and uh, you have a family uh, community and uh, my friend uh, yeah. my friend a community is not important more than the Lord because the Lord will provide you with bigger community here we go look how many people are my family here look at them if I say how many of you want to have me in his house today I will not be exaggerating if I say a couple of hundreds they would love to have me sleeping over their house don't worry my friend about family the Lord will provide you with better family the Lord will provide you with better brothers and sisters my brother is not someone is born of my mother my brother is someone he helped me when I need him many of your family they might even hurt you in your lifetime and you know that right I'm sure you witnessed a lot of stories where family hurting each other. I mean, uh, that's true. Uh, <laughs> there are uh, many of those uh, stories. Uh, yeah. So what? Don't worry about the family. You know, who said that the family is really is going? Who you have? You will have a better family. My family. I mean, is... no. Uh, I mean, like <laughs> now, you know, uh, uh, I feel sad, uh, uh, empty. Uh, uh, I can't. Uh, no, my friend. When you accept the Messiah, you will so, be you will be better of the fam. You will be with the family of Jesus, the Christ Himself. You will not be empty. You will not feel alone. Here we go. I live in my house alone. I'm not alone. I have never been alone. I never felt lonely. I've, I never felt alone. I never felt empty. I am always happy with what I have. That's why when I speak to Muslims like you or anyone I speak with confidence because if you don't have you cannot give how you can teach about something you don't have how you want to tell me about something you don't have yourself so if I don't have it I cannot give it to you so my friend don't don't worry about that and for me you know this is why I, I always I would love to invite Muslims to accept Jesus and I invite you right now as we speak to accept him and you will see that the Messiah is the best to follow. There is no one better under the sun or above in heaven, better than his name. This is not fiction. This is not a mythology statement of a God I do not know. You will see right away the different. You will be a different person immediately. And that is an additional miracle of God he do to you.
Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, I don't uh, want to uh, make it uh, late for you. Like uh, maybe you have uh, other things too, but um, maybe uh, if you could name uh, some uh, uh, the main uh, points against uh, Shia Islam in uh, okay, my friend. Let us do uh, this. You call me. You, you then, call me, you call me next and time. And then I will go. Yeah. And then uh, I. Uh, uh, I will go to. There's nothing uh, scored scholar. against against the Shia Islam, my friend. There's there's against Islam. Islam is, with my respect to you, don't be insulted, please, please. You are a kind man. I'm not trying to insult you. Islam is garbage. It doesn't matter if it's Shia or Sunni. This is why I focus in the Quran more than other reference because you can say, oh, I'm Shia, I don't accept this. You can say, I am a Sunni, I don't accept Shia. What about the Quran? So if you have no Quran and you are the one who agreed that the, even Shia say Quran is corrupted, so how Shia can be exist if there's no Quran? How we can be how we can believe in something if we don't have a book to believe in? You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean uh, they say like uh, uh, they, they, uh, there's a, uh, um, a hadith is called. Uh, let me recall. Uh, <laughs> الثقلين الثقلين حي الثقلين yeah 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 but, uh, that uh, but, actually but, but, you, yeah but you know you believe you you base a belief a religion on the hadith <laughs> no no, no. <laughs> but i mean uh, that's uh, what they say you know uh, i i don't have much knowledge See, about this is one uh, this is one a, this is one of the funny things about about islam how you know how you Okay, this, the hadith you mentioned to me, which it says Kitabullah wa itrati, correct? Yes. Okay, this hadith itself is a joke because if the Shia themselves agree that the book of Allah is gone, so how you say my religion is based on the Kitabullah and itrati and my family? If if all of them are gone, there's no family is, is stay and there's no book is, and the book is gone. So what is left of Islam? <laughs> they say like the the. the uh, tafasir of the uh, imams like <laughs> you see but exactly no problem no no problem but if the shia and you agree with me the shia believe that the book of allah is corrupt correct yes okay and the family of muhammad are dead correct mm -hmm. so what if what is left of islam nothing <laughs> <laughs> books they say books what like books? Yeah. the books is corrupt yeah. if the quran the most holy book is corrupt how we can trust the rest if the book of allah himself is gone no, so what true. we will do now? We worship the book of Al Kafi. The Kafi will be our God. Hmm. No, uh, I agree. But yeah, if you like, if you have uh, additional uh, okay, my friend, things, let us do this. Next time, yeah, call me. Next, uh, next time, will, call uh, me. Next time, call me, and we will go more in details. You are a very nice person. I really am happy to talk to you. You, you sound okay, like you're from a good family. You know, you, you can tell right when you speak to a person. If he is coming from a good ground, you see, every one of us is coming from somewhere. And you can tell right away that this person is coming from a good ground. He has a good family. He is not a trashy person. His family are not garbage. So, you know, I will be happy always to talk to you. Call me next time and give me a question about something you have a confusion about it or about Quran. And let us focus in something let us say what make you stay as not, you don't make decision yet like what make you not leaving and says i am out we can focus on that and see how we can help you with is that good okay all right my friend thank you very much for calling i appreciate your call and we will pray for you my friend and all the christians he will pray for for you and to find the truth and may the lord set you free and make you free okay. of all of all cults around the world thank you very much take care Thank you very much. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.